Yeah, 924. Uh, we're talking some pretty good science uh, through the weekend because it's going to keep humidity low for the most part and dry weather in our forecast for the most part. 70s out there right now. We didn't ever cool all that much overnight last night, but we did lose the humidity and that made those temperatures that here in the Twin Cities only bottomed out near 68 still feel pretty comfortable, at least compared to where we have been. Now we're well up into the 70s already in sunrise. It's 77 there. Pequot Lakes and Sauk Rapids both at 70 degrees across the river in River Falls, Wisconsin. 72 at uh, Randy's house and in North St. Paul, 76. Skies are mostly clear and through the rest of the day, I think we'll see a fair amount of sunshine, but there are some showers that are dropping into north central Minnesota and those showers are going to head their way toward the North Shore toward Duluth and mostly into Wisconsin over the next few hours. Here you can see the timing bringing the showers toward Duluth by about 11 o'clock or noon. Brainerd Lakes getting some scattered light showers at that point. Then they'll push across the border into Wisconsin and there will be a few scattered thunder showers coming up during the afternoon. Places like Spooner and Rice Lake and Hayward, where uh, we go into the lake this year or this week uh, up towards Spooner, could see a passing thunder shower. And maybe as far west as the Twin Cities, a couple of stray showers during the afternoon and early evening, but very quickly that system moves away and we end up with clearing skies through the overnight tonight. So if you get hit with thunder showers and showers, the best chance for those will be again to the east and to the north, where temperatures will be held back a little bit in the 70s there, more like 83 in the Twin Cities, and then mid 80s across western and south. Western Minnesota, where there's really no chance for rain today. Everyone will share in the breeze, which will be anywhere from 15 to 30 miles an hour coming in from the northwest, and that will help push these dew points down even farther from where they are right now. Most areas dew points are in the mid 50s. I think through the afternoon with that breeze, we'll actually see them fall into the low 50s, which is at least in terms of how humid it feels fall like even though temperatures will remain summer like overnight tonight. A lot of 50s for lows again here in the metro area, staying a little milder. We'll start tomorrow morning at 62. There will be some localized dense fog, particularly in those areas that got some pretty heavy rain yesterday morning and where overnight lows will be in the upper 40s in a few cases. And then tomorrow afternoon, there might be a stray shower up across the Arrowhead or the North Shore, mostly during the late afternoon and evening. But aside from that, tomorrow looks nearly perfect, and that's why it's a top 10 weather day Sunday with some humidity coming in slowly through the day. We'll get some scattered showers and thunder showers and then a better chance for some thunder showers and some areas of heavy rain coming up overnight Sunday into Monday. Again, Sunday, not a washout, but a little better chance for some straight storms, mid 80s for highs and turning muggy. Monday, most of the day outside of the morning will be dry and Tuesday, most of the day outside of the evening will be dry. Then overnight rain Tuesday into Wednesday and it looks like we'll cool a little bit toward Thursday. Oh, yeah. so excited. Great. Thanks, Mike. PV